and welcome to a new video about Isle Monster Star Defense Evolved! Oh yeah, energy form, energy form, energy form, and how to make one. Why do I call it how to make one and not just show you my energy form? Well, it's pretty simple. I am pretty endgame, uh, if I can say that myself. I have a lot of towers which are very high level. My farm basically requires a snake naga at level 25, so he can carry the um, trooper bot pet. And not many people have it. So I would rather show you how to build your own than you just copy pasting something that I have. Um, just because you'll learn something as well. And because you probably can't copy it from me. So that's why I'm going to um, show you how my thought process goes into basically making an energy farm. As you can see, I'm on forest right now. It really doesn't matter on what map you go. Um, it basically works on all the maps. Uh, some maybe better than others. Haunted is still my most favorite one. Or, well, not my most favorite one, but, like, the one that I can produce the most energy on. Um, this is going to be, like, how you farm your energy late game. I also have another guide um, for early game, uh, but this is really late game. This is basically based around the moths. What are the moths? Let me just put them on the map. If you go to pets, you can see moth moon and moth luna. So how does this basically work? The energy factory perk and the energy farm perk. This monster produces one energy on each attack for 10 seconds. And this one produces two. The trigger is 1% chance per attack. Um, so basically whenever the moths attack, and this is their attack speed, they basically have a chance to uh, activate this trigger. And then the main, the tower, the, the monster, will generate uh, energy based on its attack. So based off this attack speed. So you want to use your moths on towers that have a base stat of 0 0.41 seconds, which is death mage, wind mage, shadow, soul mage, and phantom. You do not want to use phantom because, let me put him on the map. As you can see, his range compared to death mage is much smaller. And that's why you don't want to use it. So how does this really work? Um, let me put them up here a bit. So you want your moths to have a basically you want them you want to cover a lot of areas. So as you can see, they walk in here, they go all the way to here and here. Of course, my dragon is killing them. Let me just do it like this. As you can see, energy is popping in. The perks don't hit that often at the moment because their attack speed is still very high. You should probably get this down to 0 0.11, uh, which is the maximum for the pets, both pets. How you do this? You use support towers. Let's use some support towers. As I mentioned before, I use Snake Naga uh, 25 with um, Trooper Bot. You can also use it on other. Um, towers so I'm just gonna go without pets just to make this guide a little bit more um, golem also has attack speed let's see wind mage you you want the, the main damage dealer in the tower to go to 0 0.10 seconds so we're already at 0 0.28 I'm going to add uh, angel as well I'm gonna remove my dragon because he does my DPS at the moment. Let's see. 0 0.25. Almost there. Uh, Blossom is another tower which gives a lot of uh, attack speed. Let's go. He basically needs to cover more. There we go. Now he covers 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's see how much we have. 0 0.22 seconds. Alright. Uh, let's add another tower. Horror also gives the tech speed. Let's see. Um, all sport towers gain blah blah blah. blah. Attack speed. Nice. 
Let's see. Right now they're at 0 0.13, which means that the pets will be at 0 0.13 as well. And here at 0 0.14, I believe. Yeah, there we go. So this is already really, really fast. As you can see, energy is already popping in. You can see all of those procs. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? As I said, it really doesn't matter if you're on forest, snowfall, haunted, um, desert of Eerie. Some maps are easier than others, of course, but the concept is basically the same. And that's basically how you build an energy farm. It's nothing more to it. You just want to long path all the way. You want to kill your enemies at the end of the wave, so you're... Um, towers which have the pets maybe even this one over here see that, that that's already more coverage I would actually put this over here because Moff Moon is the bigger one Moff Moon gains two energy per attack so if he covers more path look at that look at that that's what you want in order to get um, you can also add hair for example uh, you probably have to add him here and then you can have uh, 0 0.11, uh, 0 0.11, 0 0.11. But then you need basically um, six support towers. If you actually have a support tower which is at evolution 25, for example, Blossom over here, which is probably the easiest one, you can add a trooper bot to it. And then you can see it's 0 0.11 and this one is 0 0.10. So if you're gonna use five supports, then basically trooper bot is a must um otherwise you're gonna have to use six supports uh i'm going to add trooper bot to my snake naga i mean you can add him to anyone it doesn't really matter but i'm adding it to snake naga because it has more coverage you just want to have more coverage with trooper bot um because it also boosts all of these skills for example time combo is a nice boost and here time mastery as well and of course your energy source, which is even more energy. Um, so yeah, that's basically how you build your energy farm. Um, getting Wraith into position of your kill box might not always be easy, as you can see. Um, for example here, it's definitely not gonna match in the kill box, but that shouldn't matter because if you're doing an overnight run, for example, and you're adding like a debuff tower, uh, let me just remove some. Um, let's add Scorpion. Uh, let's add Mosquito Pester. You're basically slowing down the wave with this and you're stunning them and you're confusing them and they're running back and stuff. Um, that allows you your your moths basically to hit even more which is something that you want as well but your experience is going to be shit it's going to be absolutely garbage like it's not worth it doing it for experience so don't even add rave into the into the mix uh, what you're looking for is probably shadow with blind because Shadow also has the time combo, which can be really useful. You can get more game speed and therefore you can do more waves. Uh, you could also add Soul Mage with uh, Blind, for example, which also has the energy source and the time mastery. Not that the, en the energy source won't do that much. Uh, your uh, energy is really gonna come off your mods. These guys are, these guys are amazing. Get them to full, uh, full attack speed with five supports if you can, and otherwise six supports uh, if, if you can't do anything else. Uh, keep in mind that when you're leveling, if you're, for example, uh, removing skill support and you're leveling one of the moths, you are gonna get less energy than doing this, of course, because you're leveling it. Uh, it, it still procs the energy factory, but. Um, Whenever you hit the enemy, it will instantly die and won't be able to proc anymore. Um, so leveling it will make it slower. Um, yeah, if you're doing overnight runs and you're 
slowing down the waves, maybe add a little bit of freeze in there. Um, really don't rely on, on experience. Uh, don't think you can get any prestige points. Don't think you can get any kills. It's definitely going to slow down your process here. Uh, you're going to get not many waves done. You're not going to get many kills. So pet leveling, definitely not one of the uh, best things to do. Um, and that's basically how I make my energy farms. Uh, I make sure I get 0 0.11 attack speed on the uh, moths and then I just kill them all the way at the back. That's basically it. There's really not much to it. And that's basically my thought process behind that. So don't use Rave. I'm not even using Poison Bomb. Poison Bomb is nice for the time combo and the restore I guess, but restore, as I said again, uh, it will refresh like, <sighs> what will it refresh? The, the energy source, it doesn't give that much. Uh, your main income is the moths. Energy uh, restore doesn't do anything to it. So I actually removed poison bomb from my setup. Um, Phantom is nice as well. But I mean, his range, his maximum range is 10 meters compared to wind mage is almost 11. So you want to get that maximum range in there. Of course, you want Petal to basically uh, cover them as well, so you can even have more range, which means more energy, and that's basically what you want. I hope you guys get like a good feeling of how to build your own energy farm right now. I hope you understand that I just can't like give you my setup is 90% or 95% won't even be able to use it. Um, but these are my common thoughts about it. Get five supports with trooper, six supports without trooper. Basically, make sure your um, three, damn it, your towers are covered, and that you have 0 0.10 attack speed, and your moths have 0 0.11 attack speed. That's basically it. Um, if you can get petal to cover them as well, so they have even more range, even better, even better. I hope you guys learned something, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.